good morning good morning youtube family it is the morning once again it is thursday morning so happy thursday to everybody <sighs> um i'm going for another walk as you can see and i did a little bit of drinking last night you know me i'm not a drinker so I went to bed kind of early last night and I had I had quite a bit of a headache so the alcohol was making my head hurt so I had to go so I just took my ass straight to sleep but you know like I was saying in my other video you know about giving into peer pressure or just doing things just because everybody else is doing it yeah but I gotta, I'm gotta. i not going to do that no more because I already know that I'm not a drinker. Alcohol is not for me. It makes me feel like shit. So I'm just not going to drink no more. You know what I'm saying? But I only drunk because my cousins had came up here from Florida. So I wanted to celebrate with them. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, you know what? I'm getting up in the morning and I'm going walking. I don't care how tired or how sick I feel, I'm going. <clears throat> but I wanted to say that because I've been having a lot of stuff on my mind lately. And it's mostly about, you know, success, being successful, you know, wanting a better life. For yourself or whatever and y'all gotta realize that y'all gotta realize and i gotta realize that success is not an overnight process you know what i'm saying um especially being me i'm like very impatient and i think that things are supposed to happen overnight and it's not you know anything that's worth having is not going to happen overnight so you know stick to it you know don't give up whatever you know what i'm saying and i know sometimes like like especially we as black people we get all uncomfortable because sometimes we feel like we get to a certain age we can't accomplish certain things but i mean for some things like some things have an age limit on it, but most of the times, you know, success in general or anything that's worth having, it doesn't have an age limit on it. So, um, you know, just keep at it. You know what I'm saying? Keep at it. But it is very nice out here. Well, not really. Yesterday was kind of chilly, but I think it's supposed to be, what, 63 degrees today? You know, it's not that bad, but, you know, it's better than nothing. <laughs> um, I was really thinking about, um, like, relocation because, like, New York, the weather has been so freaking cold. Um, but I just really feel like i just been needing a change. Like, I do want to move. And I do have family that lives in, um, I have family that lives in, um, Florida, but Florida's never been my thing. I've never been a fan of Florida, so, you know, that's not an option for me, but, you know, I would like to move, like, down south somewhere, you know. I don't know. Probably, I don't know, it could either be Texas or North Carolina, South Carolina, anywhere but New York I'm like I'm so sick of New York it's not even funny I just really need I feel like God is like has a calling on me just like telling me to do stuff and I feel like you know you have to get out of your comfort zone and the familiar you know just get out of like your hometown you know what I'm saying I don't feel like, you know, I'm going to ever really, 
I don't feel like I'm going to ever really be who I'm supposed to be until I move because New York is just not the move for me. It really is. And I'm pretty sure people that I went to high school with has probably moved out of New York because either they went, went to college or they just decided that they didn't want to live in New York no more, which is, you know, understandable. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't feel like there's growth here where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? But um, this is just a short little video. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys later.